So I thought that I would go and do a little bit of an analysis of the UFN versus Venera Sphere of Influence fight on uh, UFN server. This was the one where I kind of tested out fighters and I took my destroyer into combat, which you haven't seen yet, but you'll see in a minute. This whole battle was mostly me and a fighter, and then more sun and his big ship versus some anary gunships. And then later on, it was me and the destroyer versus some anary gunships. So, yeah, we're gonna get going with that. So, for starters, nothing really happens here for a while. We just kind of like fly towards this fight point. And at some point, uh, yeah, there we go. About right here, the enemy ship uh, kind of comes in. I've got it muted right now because not having it muted would be loud and annoying. And I will admit that the recording quality is probably going to be absolute garbage. I'm watching this in what looks like 720p. I didn't know I was supposed to be recording in 720p. I thought I was recording in full. It might just be bad quality. I'll see what I can do to bump it up. But for the most part, know that this recording is probably going to be in low quality, so I'm going to put it through Sharpen in, uh... In... Oh boy, I forgot what program in Shadcut that I used. So hopefully that'll make it better. On that note, this is going to be relatively unedited. I'm just going to go through and do some commentary, and I'm going to skip ahead where it's needed. So, as you can see here, I've started engaging a gunship. For the majority of my time in a fighter, I was engaging Yaki Yaki. This holds true here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of just a fight. I do a spar with him. I get out of range here. And as you can look there, he's blowing up somebody. I forget who that was. I believe it's Severs. He manages to stay alive. And then I see that railgun shot right there, and my fighters don't have railguns on them, so I would have assumed it was another gunship, which is uh, Seals. He fired his big abomination of a turret on top. I try to chase him down, but then the other gunship gets closer, and I realize, okay, this is kind of a fruitless effort. I'm going to break off of Seals and go back to fighting Yak. Eventually, Seals and his railgun turret would retreat back to their, uh, their ship. By this point, uh, a decent amount of the fighters have like kind of taken some damage, so it's kind of just yakky versus me right here, and we have a nice long spar. If you want to watch the uh, the old info build vision mod is right here, and you can see the uh, ammo counter is just going down, and when it reaches about here, I'm gonna stop attacking him. So yeah, we just kind of go in for a little attack here. It's actually a pretty long attack, so I'm going to skip ahead. None of us die. Just kind of keep going. Keep skipping ahead. There we go. And about here, I've done a lot of damage. I've gotten in close. And then I decide, okay, well, I'm going to break off. And then in a little bit, I decide to go back in and fight him again. So I'm going to go up here, and then I'm going to fly around a bit and then I'm gonna go back in and go to combat again with relatively decreased ammo counts so as you can see here he's taking quite a lot of damage but not a ton my weapons are starting to fail run out of ammo a little bit so this was a nice close pass that allowed me to get a lot of damage on their ship albeit uh yeah he pulled out pretty quickly so I wasn't able to do too much uh he missed his dragons there which was Super nice. That was kind of like the indicator. I can go in closer because I don't have to worry about those railguns. And also, as you might notice, we've got these trails of those other auto cannons firing. I've got those on turrets. They're just kind of there to do turret things. And maybe, hopefully, a better luck against other fighters that may be behind me or other ships. So just as a, just as a uh, deterrent of sorts. And then right here, you can see that I've dealt a lot of damage, and then they jump out to a point that's a decent bit away, like 50 kilometers, 40 kilometers away. That's where they're holding their ship and stuff. Obviously, I'm in a fighter. I can't really capitalize on it, but it is what it is. So then this is just going to be me flying back. I'm low. I'm at like 15% higher than here. We're just going to skip ahead and I make it back. And here, and we get ready, and we hop in fighters. But as probably didn't notice 
I went and I flew my fighter and I parked it right here. Which I thought was relatively out of the way. Then, a little bit later, we all get in our fighters. Uh, I turn off some GPS points. We get ready. Uh, and we say go and watch what Severs does. He lifts off, rotates away from the ship towards that fighter, and holds space. Meanwhile, Grishalin flies over there, nails into that asteroid and damages the ship because dampeners were off because I was transporting it via a carrier. I was expecting to go into this with a 1v1, so I just did that automatically. I believe that Seb's ship was actually still flyable in air quotes as in it could move but the other it, it wasn't that useful in the next combat that we went into so uh, yeah we head back into combat we fly towards the point i check discord more i get here and we've got the ufn washington which has showed up so this guy is over here more so than spawned him in he's this ship is like big ship it stays there until the end it's the ship that stays in the fight for the longest so we decide to form up on it to uh add to its power and pretty much no sooner than we got there you'll notice that some gunships appear that right there was um seals's this is seals's abomination it's got a big railgun turret up there we we're a bit worried about that because it can easily take one of us out and absolutely obliterate us because railguns can one tap us. Thankfully, though, he shoots, it's not at me, and I don't die. So I go into a bit of a combat here. Or I guess next I'll go into a bit of combat here with, I believe, Yaki again. Uh, yeah, it's combat, and in fact, I'm getting a lot of really, really good hit hits on him here. There's a lot of things popping over his ship, but overall he flies away, and I lose my target lock on him there, which is a little bit annoying. By far the biggest issue I had when fighting these guys is that I could close the distance, but then they'll just start dodging and move away. So I believe this is how it ends. I kind of fly away here, and then I'm on my way back, and I check all around me for enemy ships. Like, over there, around, and I, basically, the one spot that I don't check is where the enemy gunship is. And I get annihilated in a couple seconds. So, yeah, right here, I try to press space, and then, actually, one thing, I don't know if I can, like, go frame by frame. So, it's difficult to see here, but if we go frame by frame, you can see that this shot is kind of on... A trajectory like this and somehow hits my cockpit which I thought was really annoying uh, I guess it might have blown up the hydrogen tank because the cockpit was still there so I died and then yeah I die that's about it and then the next fight comes next this is the next fight and I'm about to jump away I'm actually gonna pause and go back a little bit so more sun and I I grabbed my destroyer from the planet. It had no railgun ammo. It had no ammo or anything. I wasn't able to find uranium because I had an issue of skill. So I just was not able to bring this into combat. And that's why I used fighters. Thankfully, Morsun over here with his admin powers was able to give me some. Because it was just a funny end of your fight. Or uh, end of server battle fight. So I could get some cool stuff. And I was able to use that to go into combat. Which was nice. So I took a jump here, and pretty much immediately, ship scream in, I look around, there's a ship, like, right there, I think. No, it's not. We scream in, I fly in, and pretty quickly, we start to see some gunship actions happening. So you've got this gunship here, I'm just trying to fly and get in range of it, more sun's already engaging with them. I jumped about 5 kilometers away from it, so that I would be able to fly in and get an overarching view. And now, Morrison was able to do his head to spar for a little bit, but now I'm here. So, at this point, this would have been a wonderful shot on Yaki right here. 
but it doesn't work because my guns are turned off and I don't realize that. Also, as you might have noticed just down here, I pressed all propulsion and changed the way I was attacking people. Okay, there's actually a lot of things I need to talk about here. So I tried to copy target and I accidentally hit, uh, swapped the uh, targeting thing, which I didn't realize I was doing for a while. Also, my guns were off, so I couldn't shoot them, which got annoying. And then right here, I just barely missed getting hit by this asteroid. You can actually see it on Seals' uh, version. I kind of fly in here, and I'm like super close. You know, like two meters. Uh, then I see that Seals is engaging me, so I break off. I believe I break off from my combat with Yaki. I don't. I keep fighting Yaki, but it kind of breaks me off. Right here, I figure out that my rails are off. So I turn them on. And at this point, I believe I only have three left remaining. And now I can finally fire, which is nice. So we get over here. Uh, I come to combat. They don't know that I have rails because I haven't used them yet. I make one shot. I kind of hit. It does some damage. I still can't figure out how copy target works. They're on. It is what it is. But they're at least firing when I get close. And they're actually dealing some damage. Which is nice. Meanwhile, Seals is behind me absolutely drilling me. So I slowly begin to turn around here. When I was printing the ship, uh, there were eight gyroscopes in the blueprint, and only four of them actually printed. So I'm at half reduced turning speed, which as you can see, when I go into spin to win, this is a big issue because I really cannot turn. Uh, I kind of get him like locked in here, but I still cannot figure out how to copy target with my weapon. So I'm just trying to get in close enough in hopes that they'll work. And I get in close enough and they begin to work. No, actually, no, they don't because he pulls out of range just in time. Thankfully, though, my railguns have recharged. So, we uh, press left mouse button, and I kind of miss. I'm off to the side there. I do some damage, but it's not a ton. This time, I do get in my range, and my guns begin to fire. And they're actually dealing some amount of damage, as you can see here. They're blowing them up. And my ship, while well, it's also taking damage, has seemed to have survived for quite a while in this fight actually and at the end it's able to fly itself back with propulsion I believe still in all directions so it's very survivable in this fight here so we're gonna keep going there's a little bit of a spar here uh, I can check the damage it's being dealt on my ship and then I've got my railguns ready so we can uh, go in and shoot them Take a railgun shot. Bam. That was a massive hit on them right there. So I was able to do a lot of damage and maybe not cripple the ship, but it's definitely at reduced fighting capability. We get in closer. My weapons are able to do some fire and get some damage dealt. And he misses with that artillery shot. Uh, my ship has taken a lot of damage, as you can see there. It's arguably not in the best shape, but... As you might notice from this recording, there's a lot more fighting that needs to be done. And my ship still doesn't even die at the end, so, yeah. At this point, I think I'm super far away, so I decide to jump back. It doesn't happen. I was just hoping to be able to jump out and reset and stuff, but nah, it, it isn't happening. Actually, I believe this was... No, this wasn't the Sozo, this was Yaki. So I fought with Yaki there for a while. I dealt some damage. He dealt some damage back. Uh, and then I go into combat again. I'm blocked. And some of my guns figure out how to fire, and I get that rug and shot on him right there. So this is when he was engaging with uh, the UFN ship. 
and he decides to jump out. And off he goes to, I believe, 50 kilometers away. Yeah, all the way over. Actually, no, only 5 kilometers away. I thought he was going to head back to the um, to their carrier that they have. So, now we're at this point, and as you can see, still like 5 kilometers over there. They start resorting to um, jump in, jump out tactics. So they kind of just play around with jump drives, and I have to sit by the Washington, and I can't really pursue combat. So they just kind of sit out there and then come back. So this goes on for a bit. They go around. There's another ship. Right. Like, I'm just flying around. And then... Someone misses me. Zoom out. See the gunship. I'm holding space, so he's missing. And he's jumping out before I have the chance to fire. Yeah. I still have not figured out how to copy target with my guns. Here's another combat attack. Railguns. Get a hit. And we continue to spar here. So after we got that hit, uh, we just kind of like sparred for a while. And I finally figured out how to get copy target to work. So yeah, that's nice. Their gunship, as you might notice, is smoking. And their uh, thrusters aren't really working that much. So yeah. They're really not able to dodge at hit and run tactics. It's really what they can do at this point. I'm taking a lot of damage, but nevertheless, I gotta go in and go into another amount of combat with yet another an area ship that is relatively low on health here. I hit them, they have a mass explosion because their hydrogen tanks are exploded, are exposed on the side. And I barely have any more functioning artillery turrets. There's like two at most. There's not much ship left in my ship, I'll put it that way. Uh, as you can see there, the Yorktown got a lot of hits. I believe the Yorktown scored like three gunship kills this battle. And considering that they brought in four gunships, that is a quite high amount of gunship kills. Uh, this, the lack of gyroscopes is still very much impairing me. I'm slowly moving about the gunship there. That skills, he jumps out. So there's a lot of flying around, waiting for them. Waiting, waiting, and then there's another gunship. So, this. They miss. I do a rail shot. It hits, does some damage. I copy target, and. Yeah, they barely have any thrusters to be able to dodge, dodge me with. So, I can kind of dodge. I've got two thrusters, two main upper thrusters left to be able to dodge, and they've got some enough to be able to dodge my turrets, which are firing off into space for some reason. And at this point, I get out, I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of damage from the side. In fact, seals ripped a massive hole into the side of my ship right there. So, uh, I have to slowly bring my nose around to bear on him, and he begins to jump out. In a second. Because he knows that if he stood there for too long, he would get absolutely annihilated by some railguns. Anyways, that's pretty much the extent of the combat. It is time to go. I've taken way too much damage. And I'm on my way back. That was it. I head back to the moon. And I pretty much end. I hope you enjoyed this a relatively long analysis. Uh, it is what it is.